I'm a South African singing star. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Just kidding, it's called Kickstarter Where Are They Now? And it's where I look back at previously covered Kickstarter projects and I ask the question, where are they now? It is going to be a less lazy version of the whole reacting to my old video shtick. I will look at old videos, see where I went wrong or where I went right, and then we are going to either buy the product if we can buy it, or we are going to visit the creator if it was more a creator-centric project. I think it's a good new beginning for a whole new era of iDubs TV content. We are moving in a different direction, but, uh, you know, remembering where we came from. The project that we're going to look at today is called The Coolest Cooler. It was one of the most successful Kickstarter projects in history, raising around $13 million. And at the time, it was sort of a risk for me to cover this project because... There wasn't anything innately wrong with it. I think uh, the average person would look at it and say, well, that seems like a mighty fine cooler. Now we're going to watch my video and see if my criticisms hold up to the test of time. Hello, everybody, and welcome Fuck. back to more Kickstarter crap. In the last video, I took a look at rocket skates, and some of you guys said, That's not crap. That isn't crap. God damn, the variety of voices. That's really impressive. So why haven't cooler designs changed in almost 50 years? I don't know, maybe because there's nothing to change? It's a fucking cooler. You put drinks in it. Oh, okay, so overall what I'm gathering is that uh, I, I seem to not think that it was important to have all these accoutrements attached to your cooler. Regular cooler tires are flimsy and sink right into the sand. We designed the coolest wheels to be twice as wide, to roll twice as easily. But what's gonna happen? Sand is gonna go into the tires. Sand is gonna go into your outlets. And sand, 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 fuck it. I think I harped on the sand point a little too much, talking a lot about sand, but that's the only time I've ever brought a cooler anywhere is to the beach. I think what the argument boils down to is that it's a very high price tag of $185 for a product that is not particularly unique in its features. By covering a project like The Coolest, I sort of opened myself up to uh, a little bit dissenting opinion for those uh, cooler enthusiasts out there who thought uh, I was sort of reaching. That's actually pretty dope. The beach would sand fuck it. This would be good at a bush party or a, or a camping trip. This actually looks really epic. This cooler low-key pretty bomb. Hella useful shit. This is honestly the shittiest iDub series. Mm. Have you seen what's in the box? Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're gonna look at the timeline. What has happened from 2014 till now with the coolest? Kickstarter's biggest shit show somehow got even messier. Coolest Cooler is flat broke and looking for an investor, but backers are pissed off. Coolest Cooler needs another 15 million, creator says. Coolest Cooler under investigation by Oregon Department of Justice. Coolest Cooler no longer hot as price drops on Amazon. To all the people who backed the coolest on Kickstarter, I'm very sorry that it turned into such a fucking shit show between waiting years to receive it paying an extra $97 to receive it, or not receiving it at all, it really sucks. But if you want to seek comfort by viewing the pain of others, you can always visit the coolest comment page on their Kickstarter project and read daily updates from people. Nauseated by all the money you are making when you took my almost 400 pounds and I received nothing. Ryan, my financial status has changed. I need cash to pay my bills. Please mail me my money back. This is how stupid these morons are. I've emailed them numerous times offering to pay full price. Do these coolers even exist? These coolers actually do exist. I purchased one off of Amazon for $200, roughly the same price that uh, all these kind people back here paid, but uh, I got mine straight away via Amazon Prime. You may think that I really don't fit the demographic of fairly reviewing a cooler, but what you gotta remember is I'm a 30-year-old white male. Oh, 
I'll start this review off by saying the one nice thing that I can, and that is that it was manufactured quite well. Now that that's out of the way, let's address all the things that are wrong with it. This thing weighs 40 pounds without anything inside of it. This means if you want to carry it up and down a set of stairs or put it in the back of your pickup truck, you're going to have to not be anemic like me. The coolest blender. This is the feature that they're touting all over the place. Oh, the blend. You're going to love the blender. The blender's great. Blend all sorts of stuff. AKA, if you're an alcoholic, you can blend stuff. No average person is going to bring around a jug of milk with them to make a nice, delicious strawberry smoothie. So this is just your run-of-the-mill blender. You can get one that's uh, the same quality at Walmart for probably $8. And just like any other run-of-the-mill blender, it's going to have a hard time chopping up ice very finely. So we didn't even bring any ice. Not bad. Not bad, coolest. If there's one thing Ryan Grepper is good at, it's making a mean summertime drink. The Bluetooth speaker is just that. It's a Bluetooth speaker. It really doesn't do anything else. I did put to the test the validity of the statement, it's a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. It's work. It's loud. Additionally, they had a corkscrew that went in there, just furthering the concept of this is meant for drinkers, and it, it serves no purpose. It's just floating around in there. There's no compartment that it goes into. You know, with a normal cooler, you couldn't just bring around a cucumber whenever you fancied it and chop it up on one of your plates or cutting board, as I'll, I like to refer to it as, because that's what it is. It's a cutting board. We might want to pull up the high-speed camera to get a shot of this. That's wafer thin. This is the world's greatest peeler. It pe uh, world's greatest salesman. Smack a like on this video if you remember the world's greatest salesman video on YouTube. Take your mama's home baked Lay's potato chips. Mac a little macaroni salad if you're on a health kick. Is this a good shot of the food? Here's a meal for one of the good old boys. This is how you cut a watermelon, folks. All right, so once you got it cut open most of the way, you can just crack it over your knee. Wow. Thank you, Ryan Grepper, for the coolest cooler ever. <laughs> Having seen this cooler and all of its functionality and features, how much would you pay for it? Paying $200 was a deep discount because what they're actually retailing this piece of shit for is $400. And that is even a discount. It's actually $450. The thing I dislike most about this is the guy Ryan Grepper, who's responsible for creating the coolest and promoting it, is probably going to be fine at the end of the day. This was an order from the Amazon Launchpad that is for their inventory. They purchased this inventory. The profits from that purchase have helped subsidize the cost of manufacturing for everyone else's coolest. This is costing way more than I predicted. Well, let me sell a bunch of units to Amazon to pay for the units that I promised these people. Despite all of the incompetencies that Ryan Grepper has displayed in his Kickstarter project, he has a website called inventorsblueprint.com. It's one of those bullshit, sort of Ty Lopez, grow your penis in five short weeks sort of websites. Getting to where I am was not an easy path, though. I made many expensive mistakes, which if I had known how to avoid, would have saved me tens of thousands of dollars and countless hours of effort. And he tells you about how you can start earning passive income and tells you all about the, the secret method. But he didn't tell you about the secret method. And you'll soon discover why Inventor's Blueprint is your smart choice to turn your idea into a profitable product. You have to buy the secret method for $500. And then you get his awesome module. Of course, it's not awesome. It's complete horseshit. If you want to learn how to be an inventor or whatever, you're going to read a $5 book. You don't have to pay $500 to unlock modules. I'm now enjoying passive income from royalties and residual sales and the flexibility and freedom of my dream lifestyle. How about we talk about active income? You know, that income that you have to constantly fucking work for? It, it seems as though you just want other people's money to work for you constantly. Let's, let's slurp up all the backers' money, and then when we can't pay for it, let's slurp up the money from Amazon to then pay for it. 
Thank you for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this, the idea of this series. We got more series coming up, new series, uh, along with old ones. You know, comedians doing things. That's going to keep going. And uh, got, got some exciting stuff in the, on the horizon. <laughs> Any aspiring little chefs out there, you want to watch closely at how I cut this cucumber, okay? Because this is going to save your finger. See how I'm holding my fingers like that? That way, if I accidentally cut over, oh, look at, look at this. I can't cut my fingers because my fingers are vertical.